Hi, I am Jazz Rick Cole, and this is John Beasley. And you are watching Studio, Studio Q. Q. Studio Q show. Now you know. Feels incredible. I mean, we were the second highest, you know, launch in the history of TV Land, which is something, you know, to be said. Um, so it's been an exciting journey so far. <laughs> I look the same. I know. <laughs> I was like waiting to exit. Yeah. Like, so else. tell us, did you did you learn anything from those ladies that you now use today? Um, no. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> I mean, you learned. You mean you can learn something anywhere. So yeah, of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> my family owns two churches, so I've grown up in church all my life. My cousin's a pastor's kid. My mom was a pastor's kid. My grandmother's a missionary. My uncle owns the biggest church in Stockton, California. So I relate heavily to the character just because my family is strongly based on oh church. And so when I'm back home, it's very church and church, church, church. And then when I'm here, it's like I still go to church all the time and I pray and I meditate. But it's different when everything is consumed and centered around church. Mm -hmm. So I've always had the dynamic of being in one place and the other. So lyric is going from one extreme to the other. So it's kind of a very similar thing for my character. Bless you, child. <laughs> Oh, it's fun. It's fun. This is I get to come in and laugh and get paid. You know, I'm having a ball. <laughs> yeah. So, do you have a long history with the church like her? Oh, uh, yeah. I've tried to stay away from it for a long time, but <laughs> I'm just a sinner. But no, I, I, I'm an elder in, in my church in, in Omaha, Nebraska, and uh, my wife makes me go. So, <laughs> but I enjoy it. I'm in the choir, and I, occasionally I will give a sermon. You know, the writers give me really a lot of good stuff to, to work on, and, and I have an uncle who's a preacher and an aunt who is very funny, you know, and, and so these are some of the people that, that I draw from. We have a guy, an older guy in, in our church who's kind of like grumpy, and but he's a really nice guy, you know. It's, that's just his thing. That's his stick, you know. And I think uh, Reverend Barton is, is, is the same guy, you know. Oh, heavens no. Heavens no. I'll, I'll never retire. Retire from this? Yeah. Oh, no. They're going to have to carry me out of here <laughs> kicking and screaming. Or maybe I'm Alzheimer's and can't remember the lines or something like that. But no, I'm not going to retire. I just love lyrics, so that's just, you know, the chemistry is just natural. And for you? Um, I mean, like, this is like, <laughs> he's like my heart. Um, <laughs> I was her date. In, at, he was uh, yes. at Deborah Lee's uh, BET dinner. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, it, it was, was fun. <laughs> it was so awesome. But no, I mean. No, we had a good time. We together. had a great good. time. Yeah. Um, and we have, you know, we have great chemistry. I think that, you know, everybody on, on set, everybody in the cast yeah. has kind of come to a really good gel. Okay. Um, and I think it just takes time, but. My, my mom, you know, she was a pastor's kid and she didn't want me to grow up having the church stuffed down her throat. I mean, I went to church, but I was one of those kids who loved to go to church. I was fasting at the age of 12, you know, and yeah, I was very, very into God. <laughs> you know, I'm very into God. Um, I know that sounds corny, but I am. Um, so, you know, I didn't have that um, type of thing. I got to do everything that I wanted to do. I got to dance, I got to act, I got to sing, I got to go do any extracurricular activity that I did and then I was in school and so I mean I didn't have that mm -hmm. issue. That's every day. Every day. <laughs> every day, every scene, <laughs> every take. Um, yeah, it's actually kind of amazing if we get through one take and he doesn't yeah. go off book or we're not like in the scene. Like, it's actually kind of amazing. Wow. <laughs> and we get paid to do that. <laughs> right? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's incredible. I live five minutes away, so it's actually <laughs> amazing. I roll out of bed and come here. Um, no, I think it's I think it's great, especially because when you're shooting on location, a lot of the time it can be kind of stressful, and you kind of have to get you know comfortable with your surroundings and your environment. So I mean, I love it. And, well, and for me, being a working actor is is just uh, I don't think there's anything like it, and um, we have a steady job pretty much, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's a joy for me. I have to commute. I, I, I live in Omaha, Nebraska, so my I can't roll out of bed and get here, but, <laughs> but <laughs> I have to take a plane in the meantime, but I, you know, I, but I, uh, I, uh, I'm looking for a place here so that I can roll out of bed and get here, but yeah, I'm, I'm just having a, a, a ball. Sure, oh, it was yeah. quick. <laughs> yeah, was quick. we kind of no. got thrown into no, it. No, we, we really, we really, everybody really likes, you know, and respects, you know, we respect each other here and, and, and really care for each other. So it's just like a family. I mean, I grew up watching like Fresh Prince and Roseanne and Full House and, you know, the Cosbys, and there's not really any shows like that on TV now. Um, so I think it's it's a joy, you know, it's a blessing for there to be a family show on TV where people can actually sit down and watch something else besides reality TV and, mm -hmm. you know, it's actually showing, you know, a loving connection and behavior in any sort of way. Um, so I think that's amazing. Oh, absolutely. I, I agree. Yeah. What'd yeah. you say? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. Uh, we have a, a we we just enjoy each other, and it's uh, what'd you say? Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> really? Okay, I, it was I, so I'm profound. I, I, it it so, really it was. was. It so really heartfelt, was. John. It really was. <laughs> That's just him. <laughs> <laughs> Lyric is her own creation in and of herself. It's not yeah. so much about him saying I want to have sex with you as much as oh I get to go shopping with my friends and spend money and look cool. Gotcha. So there's a different dynamic for her. She's a little different <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. Yeah well Nisi's Nisi. <laughs> Speaking of Miss <laughs> Say hi to that. Yeah. <laughs> no, Miss Nash is amazing. She's absolutely hysterical. I mean, between her and said it's like hard not to laugh right. constantly all the time. And it's great to get to see that because you know it, it shows that you know there's room to play. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, you can kinda get stuck in the lines and stuck in a certain way of being. Especially for me, um, because I come from a different background and it's she improvs and she gets you kind of out of your own way and so you kind of have to roll with the punches so it teaches you to adapt. So you're growing. Definitely so. I don't think you should ever stop growing. Anything that is not growing is dead. So I can <laughs> plan on growing forever <laughs> in life until I'm done. Put. <laughs> You know, I have to be careful when I'm doing a comedy like this because sometimes I can go on and, and, and be a little too serious. One scene where I go into the kitchen and there's young ladies in there that I don't know and I go in there and who are you and what are you doing in my kitchen and Stan says, hey, dang, you sound like you could kill her when you're <laughs> Let's lighten it up a little bit. So you know, I have to, I have to be aware of that um, because my first tendency is to make it real. The great thing about this, and that 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 I really love, is that we get to see a lot of black guest stars come on. Mm -hmm. You know, we're getting a lot of good guest stars, and and, and to, to put black actors to work, it's a wonderful thing. I mean, we've had this the list of guest stars. We've had Anthony Anderson and Tamala Jones and the Braxton Sixters, and we had Yvette Brown on our show last. Last night, Cedric right. Garb. I mean, we just have a list, and then we had um, Tim Reed here today. Tim Reed's here today, and oh, then we so had Robert Forrester, like the Oscar-nominated. I mean, it's like we have this amazing list of actors mm -hmm. that are on the show, and it just—it's incredible. So it's yeah. really, really a lot of fun. Every week, you know, I'm looking at the list to see who the guests yeah. are. Yeah, <laughs> that's really like the most exciting. I know. Like, who's on this week? <laughs> <laughs> who do I get to meet this right, week? Right. You know? I'm I saw CeeLo. CeeLo Green. <laughs> I'm like, I'm wondering who that's going to be. 
Kim Coles is here, you know. Yeah. Gary Williams is here. Patty Winston. Yeah, Patty yeah. Winston. Oh. And how does that add to the dynamic of the show? Oh, like, it's amazing yeah. because it's like you know we're kind of used to each other, you know. Not you know like we work mm -hmm. together every single day, and so you know having someone you know with a different mm -hmm. vibe and a different energy, and it's like oh yeah, yeah, like we're you know it gives you a little bit of pep to your stuff, I guess. You could and say. they're excited to be here because yeah. you know it's it's a fun some fun place to be. And there's not a lot of other places to be. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> Very well said. <laughs> Studio Q Show. Now you know.